Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this blink effect. You can use it as an effect or a transition. So the first thing, there's many different ways that you could do this, and there is also an effect in the effects panel called strobe, which I have many tutorials on, the strobe light effect, that aren't necessarily a blink, but I'll add like kind of a flicker of color. That is one option for you if you might have stumbled upon this video to add flickers at different intervals. However, the effect that I'm going to show you is going to be more like a creative effect that we're going to generate, not like this. That's not really a blink. It's kind of more like a flicker. The effect that we're going to generate is by creating a new black video file. So in the project media panel, we can click on this new item button and click black video. It'll create a new black video in our sequence size. And we can drag this out on a track over top of our video clips. Now, on this black video clip, we're going to add a transition on the beginning and the end. And although I suppose you could use like a just a default cross dissolve type of blink, what I'm actually going to do for more eyelid kind of blink is open up the video transitions folder in the effect panel and open up the wipe folder and find the barn doors effect. I'm going to add the barn doors transition to the beginning and the end of this black video. And if you actually click on that little piece of tape that is added, we can change it from being this horizontal barn door to a vertical just by clicking on this little arrow in the effects control panel. And we're also going to reverse it so that it's closing in rather than opening out just like that, like an eyelid blinking. And then once it ends, we're going to do the same thing on the other side, make sure it's up and down. And now it'll open back up. So we basically just want to squeeze this in to the speed that we want. By default, black video clips are going to be five seconds long. That's, that's much too slow for a blink of an eye. So I'm actually going to just zoom in. And the thinnest you can do it is just like a couple frames. But I'm just going to do like three frames there and then maybe leave one or two frames of black and bring it in on the other side symmetrically to have three frames. So just like that, we can see we have this quick blink. It goes like that in and out. And if you play it, it's visibly different than a black flicker or a black shutter. Or as an extra step to add some even more kind of flavor to it, if I nest one of these, so right click and nest it, in it into its own sequence, I can add a Gaussian blur, which is in the blur and sharpen folder, and add a vertical blur. Just make sure I check repeat edge pixels. And this will give us a little bit more smooth edge rather than how it was before. And now that's kind of like more of a feathered blink. And from here, if we were to copy this one out with that same option drag effect, if I wanted to make it longer in some cases, I can just press R. That'll grab our rate stretch tool and I can stretch it out. So this will be a slower blink. Or if I wanted to make some duplications like a fast blink, I can use that same rate stretch tool to squeeze it in even faster. So we can have different lengths or different frequencies. And you can basically just copy and drag these out wherever you want a blink to appear. And the cool part is you can not only put them right above your track, but you can put them much higher up on the track layers if you had other things going on, like multiple tracks blending or text or other objects. And that'll create these blinks just like that at whatever pace that you want. So you can use that as a stylus effect, a transition between cuts, or even a transition to the end of a clip or sequence to kind of blink out. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other Premiere Pro effects and tutorials in the playlist on my channel. You can actually get a bunch of preset effects in my effects pack on my website, which I've created, effects and transitions, at justinodisho.com shop. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.